Today we are going to talk about the quickest way to find a broken cable on your board and the tools you need to do it. You've probably been told over the years that as a guitar player using a pedal board, you should get a cable tester. I wholeheartedly agree with this advice. Cable testers are great to take your patch leads that are on your pedal board and to quickly put them on each side and test them to tell you if they are working or if your patch lead has failed somewhere internally. Cable testers are not so great though if your cables are still installed on your pedal board. If you can imagine this scenario with me, you're at a gig and something's crackling or completely failed on your pedal board. All of your cables are wired and tangled up on your board and you need a way to quickly test these cables. A cable tester in a lot of instances will not work because these two plugs might not be able to get close enough to plug into that central cable tester. Instead, I'm proposing that you get a multimeter. This fancy piece of equipment is a multimeter. These are not expensive, or they don't have to be. You can get them from $15 and up. This was around the $75 to $80 range. What you can do and what you wanna make sure your multimeter has is a setting called continuity. On this one, it looks like four little sound wave lines, just four lines in a row. I'll put a picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. What these multimeters will do on the continuity setting is notify you when the two probes are touched together. The really high quality ones will notify you by mail, but we don't have time for that. We need a notification right away. So you wanna get your continuity setting with a beep. So you wanna get your continuity setting with a beep. When the tip and the tip of a patch cable are touched together, one on each plug, you should hear that beep because they're supposed to be connected. Same with sleeve to sleeve. If, however, you touch the tip of one end of your cable to the sleeve of the other, you should not hear a beep. If you do, your cable has failed. Let's make this really practical. I have a DC cable here ready to go and a standard patch lead in my hand. Let's test the patch lead first. If I touch the sleeve of this patch lead or that longer bottom part to the sleeve, we should hear a beep. If I slip one to the tip, so now there's tip and sleeve on this side, no beep. So far, so good. Now if I do tip to tip, we are now working as well. So that means the tips are connected, awesome. Sleeves are connected, awesome. And tip is not connected to sleeve. This means we have a working cable. This is so helpful in the beginning of a gig. If something goes down on your board, maybe you have to touch the input cable over here, which runs to your first pedal way over here. You want to be able to access those two points quickly and easily without ripping up your board right before a gig. You can then diagnose the issue right away. Now let's do the DC cable. This is a standard DC cable, so the center 2.1 mil barrel, the center should be connected on each side and then that outside uh, connection should also be there. So this is the outside, we have a beep. Outside to the middle, we should not hear a beep. Perfect. And then middle to middle, beeping. Awesome, so this cable also works. You can use this for MIDI cables, although it's a little bit more tricky for those. TRS, TRS to dual mono, and of course, your patch leads. A multimeter is an absolute essential piece of gear to have in your gig bag if you want to be able to troubleshoot cable issues quickly. Again, to summarize, get a cable tester. They are awesome, but if you want to troubleshoot on the road quickly, consider getting a multimeter with continuity one that doesn't send you mail instead of that instant beep. Post your questions below. We'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.